Hello, my name is Martin and welcome back to another video. So we're going on a road trip, but first of all, we need to pick up James. <laughs> What's he got? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Have you got everything? I think so. Toothbrush? Yeah. Comb? No. No? <laughs> what <are> <laughs> You got your comb, man. You? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got mine. Yeah, clean socks, Sundays, all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mum gives you fifty p in case you get lost. And a pick a mix, forget a pick a mix. Oh, nice one. See. No, no, no! Don't try and give me that. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know where. Where are we? Keel Services. Yeah, aren't yeah, we? yeah. Sunshine in a bit. Keel oh, Services. Nice. I've got myself a, a latte. You've got yourself a... I thought it's awful. <laughs> it's, it serves you right for trying to be a ponce. Yeah. Never go out, never try never, anything new. Don't get a Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks is the most it's not bitter, good. crappy coffee ever. Anyway, it was forced into it. We're on the motorway, so what can we do? So we're about, uh, I think we're halfway. Mm -hmm. We're halfway. Good he ain't bit. got a clue where he's going. He's not, <laughs> I've only got Newcastle. He's not even got Newcastle. <laughs> no, we're not far off Kidderminster. We're going down to the... Um, the Seven Valley Railway. Um, we're going. They've got a diesel weekend on, um, so I'm going looking at the trains. So apparently we're, we're staying somewhere in a bit of an Airbnb, um, and then when we get down there, it's quite rural. So yeah, halfway, we'll crack on. Force him to drink that because I bought it him now. He has to drink it, and I'll finish. It's quite nice, as you know. Yeah, this is awful. Cold cup of sick. <laughs> How's it going? Not bad. Are you staying here as well? Uh, yeah, I was going to, yeah. <laughs> so this is our little veranda, and down there is the Seven Valley Railway. I'll be showing you some shots of trains going past down there. Oh yes. Sounds like a corker, James. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little place we've got for the weekend uh, absolutely beautiful so James and I are just going for a quick walk we're going to uh, take a look at I think there's a signal box down here part of the Seven Valley Railway so this week's video is going to be a little bit different very much a railway theme we're here on the Seven Valley Railway that's the uh, station called Highley and we're going to look around the town of Bridge North which is quite a nice little place I was quite surprised so if you want pure trains what I might do is take all the train footage that I've got put it together in one pure train video but it's going to be a bit of everything in this one. Highly signal box. There, see? So we're gonna go and take a look inside. I'm gonna turn the camera around, shut up, you get to look inside Seven Valley Railway, classic, old school style signal box.
Yes, so, so, red... so red, red levers are, are, are signals. Yeah. Uh, red levers with white stripes on are signals that are locked by the token. In other words, yeah. you can't allow a train to go into the next section until it's got a token, and until you've got a token out, yeah. you can't pull that lever. So it, it protects you, the fact that yes. you can't allow yeah. a second train into the section even, you know. Yeah. Um, the black levers are points, the points at both ends here, the, the sidings. Yeah. Um, and the blue ones are what we call facing point locks, which basically when you move the points, or if they're in the normal position, with that blue lever like that, there's a bar that goes through and locks them, locks so you it, can't yeah, move them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was incredible. It's like stepping back in time, going to an old school, oldie world style signal box. Um, brilliant. Warship alert. These locomotives that you're looking at are actually getting on for 60 years old, some of them. They're uh, heritage uh, locomotives and some of them are almost antiques. They're looked after by the volunteers on the Seven Valley Railway and of course on all the, uh, the preserve railways around the country. So this is where we're staying, just down by the River Severn. It's looking quite uh, in full flow at the moment, quite brown, the water. It's had a bit of a, I mean, a few downpours. Um, looks deep to me, that, doesn't it? Sort of still, but fast moving, quite yeah, deep. But well, beautiful place, absolutely beautiful place. Down in the valley, with nothing but the bird song. I don't know quite sure where we are, but we're here, we're just sat by the River Severn, having a coffee. Weather's quite nice, um, bit of a threat of rain, but anyway, we need to find out where, where we are. I just plugged it into, I just put the uh, postcode into the sat-nav. I think we're in Highley, John, is that right? We are, we're in Highley, we are, well, we're just outside Highley. We're nearest down, towns? Nearest town is Highley, and we are between Bridge North and Bewdley, on the Severn Valley. Right. Uh, this is the River Severn, yep. down here. And we're at a little place called the Ship Inn. Right, we had to move. There was a sudden downpour by the river, weren't there? We were going on about the weather being nice and it just suddenly, the heavens opened, didn't they? So we were saying the Ship Inn pub's down there. Yes, Ship Inn pub, just by the river. Uh, it's a lovely part of uh, Shropshire. Shropshire? Yes. Shropshire, that's where we are. Fantastic. First time I've been here, it's amazing, it's brilliant. Thanks for inviting us down. John invited us down and said, Seven Valley Railway. Uh, diesel bash. Yes. Come down, know. stay in this little chalet, which is fantastic. We've got views of the, uh, the railway, haven't we? You have, yes. You've got front seat row of uh, everything you expect of that passenger and diesels and whatever you want, really. The diesels, it's like meeting old friends. Where's my brew gone? Oh, there it is. 7am. Where are we going? Uh, Kidderminster. Because <laughs> yeah, I've just told you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to Kidderminster to get on the train. Loco hold. Kidderminster station. There you go. Um, but already on the platform, I can hear the distant thud. Thump. Thrum. Whatever it is. <laughs> of a familiar locomotive. I think it's a class 50.
What's that logo on the front of this? What's the logo? So we're in a bit of the old uh, corridor stock here. You've never seen this before, have you? Uh, I've seen it on Harry Potter. Right, Harry Potter, that's all people have to go off, isn't it? But I remember this from the 80s. Uh, John does as well, don't you, John? I do, yes. Yeah, uh, look at this. You know, they don't do this anymore. Look at the little mirror there, right? And it's got on it. I don't know if you can see that. VR, British Rail. Look at that. Beautiful bit of detail there. That's your heating system, that. Uh, that the lights, dim and bright for the lights, and that's how you uh, control the heating off and on. But when you think of it, in a world of uh, hermetically sealed trains now that just go beep 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 beep, beep when you're sealed in, you can get your head out the window on this. Listen to the locomotive; uh, it's incredible, really. Uh, I love it. Choo -choo! Choo -choo! <laughs> So we're coming into Highley. This is like our local station where we're sort of staying. Um, and you'll be able to see our little chalet on the railway line. Take a look at this little rail car. We've decided to go into Bridge North Town to try and get a full English. Talk to you like this now, full English. Um, the ideal situation is we find a little cafe that does full English. We'll have to sit outside at the moment because it's just before, we're just before the 17th of May when we can actually start going inside places. But we're trying to find a little cafe that will do a full English. James's ideal scenario is that we find Barbara's calf. <laughs> I'm not sure that that exists. And she will be, I don't know if you talk like this down there. She goes, all right, boys, what are you having? I'm Barbara. I'll be cooking your breakfast this morning. How do you like your eggs, boys? <laughs> Apart from the fact that they don't talk like that here, but I'm not in Manchester anymore, and so that's the best accent I can come up with. What do you reckon, James, Barbara? Barbara, it's got to be. Barbara's calf. How do you like your eggs in the morning, boys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right nice, lads. Where are you from? <laughs> oh, Manchester. Well, we've not found uh, Barbara's. Well, we've found Millie's. Millie's place there. You see it? Millie's place. <laughs> so, I go in there and get a breakfast. What do we think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheers for breakfast, Martin. Yeah, no problem, John. Yeah, thank you yeah, very much. No problem. Yeah, cheers, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> You're paying, aren't you? <laughs> what an unexpectedly beautiful and fascinating place Bridge North turned out to be. But it's built on the side of a cliff, so if you go there yourself, you need to be prepared to walk downhill and walk uphill. <laughs> you won't know that. This 
see the rock there. Apparently they were caves. Quite fascinating. Gotta admit, I never thought Bridge North could be so pretty. Look at this. Uh, another one, Tudor style. Genuine article that. Look at this place, Bishop Percy's house, built in 1580, so it's 441 years old. Survived the fire after the Civil War in 1646, and King George III was born there. How fantastic is that? I just love those faces carved into the uh, into the woodwork there. Really give it character. Absolutely blown away by the place. Being built on a cliff, Bridge North has a cliffside funicular railway which opened in 1892 to great fanfare. It claims to be the shortest yet the steepest in Britain. That's Bridge North Castle, and the whole thing has fell that way. <laughs> Incredibly precarious. I'll give you another shot of it. I'll have to look up a bit of history on it, but I've never seen anything like that in my life before. This place defies logic, and again, completely blown away by it. Uh, the castle was founded in 1101, and this big square tower was built during the reign of Henry II. Now, we came to the throne in 1154, so we're just talking the... Uh, the uh, 867 years. Looks like there's a crack in it there, isn't there? Right, if you take a look at this right, see how it's, obviously it's leaning. Well, you can look up there, you can actually see a doorway there. That would have been a doorway. Look at that. I'll just try and brighten that up a bit for you. And obviously you've got there's the doorway, then obviously you've got, that's where the floors would have been, where the wood would have gone in. We've got a massive crack there. I don't know why it's gone over, I'll have to look it up. Right, so what's the story behind the leaning castle of Bridge North? Well, the English Civil War, 1646, lots of royalists based at the castle. Cromwell and his roundheads come along and they lay a three-week siege to the castle. They're successful and they conquer it and Cromwell orders it to be demolished and much of it was demolished. But uh, the damage caused during the, uh, during the probably bombardment of the castle uh, caused it to lean over and it leans by 15 degrees which apparently is four times more than the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It must have been strengthened because that is one hell of a lean but absolutely brilliant. This car park at Bridge North Station used to be a coal yard and these recesses in the wall that, with a kind of ramp on them I, uh, I think was where the coal was delivered and they slid it down here into the waiting wagons. Back at Bridge North Station, ready for our journey home, and 5035 Art Royal backs onto the train. Is that your first real logo? Oh. Fast 20, 1000 horsepower, 
small sort of locomotive. When this goes, you're gonna get some thrash. It's gonna be a beautiful moment, I'm telling you now. Okay, so in a minute we're going to set off from the station and we should get a little bit of 50 thrash for you. That's what we like. If you don't understand trains, it's like listening to a fast car when they put the throttle down. But it's the same thing with these things. You're cooking, what have you made? It's your turn to cook tonight. I've been slaving away all afternoon. Yeah, and what have you made? Right, you, you go and make a brew because I'm, I'm messed off. What What have you been cooking? I worked proper hard and... <laughs> <laughs> That's for tea. <laughs> Scotch egg. Right, okay. I'll go and make the brews then, eh, James? Eh? Best I'd do. Right, okay. I slaved away all afternoon. Have you seen all the trains now? I think I have. I've seen enough trains for my yearly intake. Yeah, but next year you'll be begging for more trains, won't you? To be fair, but I did enjoy the ride. Yeah, you've never been on a carriage that's been like open before. Yeah, and you can look out and look you can out see. And stick your head out and go choo choo. <laughs> I wouldn't mind like a little someone going, any chocolate or crisps? <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> chocolate, crisps? Yeah. Whatever you. Take your fill, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, hope you enjoyed the video, plenty of trains there for you, if you like trains that is, you've completely converted now aren't you? Yeah, I've had enough of my year but it's it good. <laughs> he's, he's talking about going back and becoming a train spotter now aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the video, thanks very much for watching, thanks John for inviting yeah. us down. Been no problem, job. it's really nice to have you down Martin and James, yeah, really pleased to meet you, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Yeah, been fantastic, thanks very much for watching, take care, see you next time in the next video, bye for now. See you